Hi, and welcome to another episode of Tech of the Century. I'm your host, Ben, and it's, uh, it's mailbag time. So, uh, here's a bag I got in the mail. And, uh, this is something that I bought off eBay. I paid, uh, $1 for the item, $2 to ship it. It came from one province over, and, yeah, it, this is what it is. So, what is it? It is another bag, another mailbag. And it is a uh, Apple II Disc 2 card. Now, uh, it, yeah, it costs a dollar. Usually these go for me ten, fifteen dollars on eBay, but this was a dollar. Now there's a reason why this was a dollar. If you take a look at it, and you look at those pins, they look like shit. And uh, the other side, it's even worse. It's all you know, green and corroded and stuff. But on the ad, he said that uh, it was all worn out. Now, when I looked at the pictures even closer, I knew that it wasn't wear and tear. Usually wear and tear, it turns gold silver. It doesn't turn it green. And, uh, well, this is these are supposed to be gold-plated. And gold does not corrode. So, how this corrosion got on here, I don't know. Uh, maybe it was sitting in the slots in an Apple II that was sitting in water. I don't know. But also, these uh, these guys here are supposed to be uh, gold-plated, I believe, and they're all kind of green, too. So, um, I paid the dollar for it. I figured, ah, fuck, what the hell? I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna try and, uh, and see if I can fix it. But I noticed in the pictures, too, that all the chips they're all kind of corrody too, so uh, it's like, well, you know, a buck, three bucks for this thing, and I, I do need one or two more of these things, so I figured, you know, what the hell, let's see if I can fix it, right? So what we're going to do with this thing is we're going to give it a bath. And uh, what I need to do with this thing is I need to take a picture of where all the chips go before I do anything. So I remember where they go because I want to pull the chips out and give them a bath separately. So I grab my nice phone here. This this phone is so much better than uh, the shitty BlackBerry Classic I had. God, that thing was a piece of junk. Okay, so take a picture. That's a very good picture. Very nice. Okay, now I know where all the chips go. Okay, so remove chips. You just take an ordinary flathead screwdriver, you can't see it because it's out of focus, and uh, I got a vat of vinegar sitting right here, well not a vat, but a piece of Tupperware with a whole bunch of vinegar, and vinegar is cheap, you can you know buy a big jug of it for like what, three, four bucks, nice cleaning uh, solution, so you just you know take your flathead screwdriver and uh, and down one side and just kind of rock it out so you don't bend, bend all the fucking pins here. We'll see how bad these things look. Um, this one's not so bad. It looks like it's been out before. Look at it. It's not horrible here. Yeah, it's not too bad. But, uh, like, this one looks really bad. This one here. Ugh. Yeah, it's a little crusty in there. Uh, this one doesn't look so hot. Oh, oh, man, that looks bad. There, look at this one. This one looks like shit. Look at that, it's all brown and corrody. I mean, the guy, you know, when he put up the ad, he said it didn't work. I believed him. <laughs> I mean, you look at these pins and the, uh, the... The connector, it's all terrible, terrible, terrible. Of course it's not going to work. So, you know, nobody bid on it. I was the only one. And, you know, because people, when people buy stuff off eBay, they're like, I don't want to fix that. I want it to work right out of the box. And I don't want to pay much for it either. And the thing is, you can get a lot of times, a lot of times, sometimes, uh, you can get stuff cheaper when it's broken, and if you think you can fix it, why not get it? Oh, there's places on there's uh, people on eBay who try selling Commodore 64s with uh, you know half the keys missing off of it, and they want $200 for the damn thing. They're freaking crazy. 
It's like, why would I buy that when I can pay, you know, $100 for one with all the keys? <laughs> okay, we got all the, uh, the nice chips off of it. Let's take our vat of vinegar and plop the board in there, let it sink, which is when it's done. We're gonna throw all the chippies in there. We're gonna let those soak too, and I got more shit that just came in the mail. Look at it, it's bubbling. Bubble, 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 bubble. Well, maybe that's just air, you know, from the sockets, or maybe it's actually doing something. Maybe it's actually eating away at stuff. I still haven't thrown all the chips in there, so let's uh, let's do that. There we go. I need an overhead camera thing. Look at that, that thing is just corroded to shit. All right, we're gonna let that sit in there for a little while. So I'll catch up with you, you know, after this jump cut and and we'll see how she's looking, because it looks like it's going to clean up quite well. Okay, so my Apple II card's been sitting for a little bit, and it's, uh, there's a dead mos- What the fuck is that? Mosquito? Wood tick? I don't know. Spider? I don't know, something fell into the vinegar and died. <laughs> That's okay. You don't mind that. Um, so, it's- very interesting looking at this thing. Um, I think it's looking a little better. Um, just a little, not by much. You can see it still looks kind of shitty, but a little better. So we're gonna take my beautiful toothbrush here and do a little scrubbing on it now that it's been sitting. Let's see. Holy fuck, look at that, man. Look at that. Like, <laughs> that is so much better. <laughs> That didn't take much, did it? That is very much an improvement. Um, it's still a little rough. I think it's gonna have to soak a little longer. But, oh my god. That's, uh, pretty amazing. Alright, here's side two. See how shitty that looks? And, yeah, look at that. That is, uh... Quite the difference, I must say. It looks a lot better. I mean, it's not perfect. Not yet, anyway. Um, this gives it a fighting chance of actually working. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do these guys here, too. If need be, I can replace these headers, but I don't think I need to. They're uh, cleaning up. I mean, this is a lot better than it was, that's for sure. I'm a little bit worried about the sockets. What I should do is put chips in and out of them while they're soaked with vinegar. Um, okay, let's put this aside for now. Look at the chips. The chips are still a little nasty looking here, but they're... Yeah, it doesn't take... Too much, I don't think. Okay, we're gonna put the chips in and we're gonna pull them back out. Doesn't matter what order they go in, what direction they go in, just as long as they go in. This is the wrong one. There we go. Okay, good. We're gonna pull the chips back out now. them back in the bath. I mean, again, worst comes to worst, just replace the sockets. Okay, good. That will help. We'll let them soak a little longer. I am going to go oof, get an SOS pad and clean off the rest of that crap. SOS pad! Just a little bit abrasive. Let's uh, do a little vinegar on that. Okay, let's take the SOS pad and uh, here, let's see if we can see if that works. But you know what? That's not too bad. I don't think it's going to get much better than that. I mean, I could take steel wool to it, but I don't want to, you know, do be too abrasive with this thing. But here, <laughs> here's what it looks like. Now, compared to what it was before, it wouldn't make any kind of contact. None. And I am very happy with that. 
Um, I think I'm going to leave it in the bath for a little bit longer and uh, then we'll give it a try. Alright, so I got the card all cleaned up and assembled. I, um, I cleaned it up with some soap and water after I did the vinegar treatment and it turned out really, really good. If uh, you want to see that, look how shiny the gold contacts are. They're good on, a lot better on both sides. I mean, there's still a little bit of, I still see a little bit of it, but it's, um, like, it's very minimal. So, I have two Apple II uh, computers here. One does not have a disc two card, and one does. I need the uh, other disc two card in case this thing doesn't work, so we can troubleshoot it. So we're gonna try and, um, well, we're gonna make sure everything's working here first. Let's get rid of this Apple II. All right, so this one is quite loaded with all kinds of good stuff in it. I think I have another one that's got a lot of good stuff in it too. Uh, there's a grappler plus card, um, what is this, extra RAM or something, modem, and of course the disc two card. So, <clears throat> pull the disc two card. Oh. That's interesting, you look at that, it's got less contacts on it. But it's the, uh, this is the exact same card, pretty much. I think this is an earlier version of it, though. Well, first, before we do that, let's make sure that everything works. Make sure uh, the disk drive fires up. Let me turn on the Apple II. Oh, there it goes. Uh, throw a disk in there. Boot the other disc, please. What other disc? What the fuck does that mean? So it wants side two. That's fucking dumb. Okay, well it's doing something on the original card, so... Yeah, there it goes. Super Bunny. Ooh, fun. Maybe I'll try some Super Bunny later. Okay. So we know that card works. Let's pull that one. Put in the one I cleaned up. The three dollar card. <laughs> and we'll plug her in. See if it does anything. I don't know if I have no clue if it's gonna do a single thing. But let's find out. Let's see if we can get some super bunny happening here. Mmm, hopeful. Look at that. It's working. It is working. Look at that. We got Super Bunny. All right, the card works. I don't have nothing to worry about. Um, I don't know if Disc B works. I don't really know how to try Disc B on an Apple II. I know very little about Apple II stuff. Um, perhaps I'll take a month and spend some time with Apple II stuff. Because, again, I'm very unfamiliar with it, but I know I'll, I'll, just enough to do things on it. Yeah, alright. We got Super Bunny, we got a working card, and now I can take that working card and put it in the Apple II that doesn't have one. So, let's do that. Alright. Here's the one that doesn't have one. Pop her open. Put the card in. I'll put it in there. Plug the drive in. In case you are wondering, I do have Apple II, proper Apple II floppy drives, but all the capacitors have exploded on them. So that's another video. <laughs> Let's see how she works. Good. Everything looks to be great here. It's working. And yeah, they're super bunny. It's all good. All right. Thanks for joining me on this episode and 
uh, watching me bring a $3 Apple II card back to life. Uh, we'll talk to you next time. <laughs> Time to play some Super Bunny. <laughs>